Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for November 25th, 2020. Please, whoops. Please show me what Gemini needs to know, hear, or see. Thank you. I hope you're all doing super awesome today. Here's your first card. Nine of coins in the upright. So you are doing just fine, thank you. You are working away, you're independent, you're self-made, you're self-sufficient, you have enough money. Um, you have everything you need and if you don't have it, you can make it or you can find a way to get it. Super resourceful, great card to start with. Um, oh, where's your shuffle song? Just grazing by digitalism and I couldn't understand anything they were saying but it just felt like like I'm chill it just felt like really laid back um funny because I just put honey out and she's grazing in the paddock <laughs> but she's a Leo so in your how you have the three of coins in the upright wow this is someone that's very humble someone that could be famous this is getting a lot of support from someone and what just popped in my head could be from many people so you're feeling very oh um valued like you found your own value but you also feel like other people value it value you as well that feels really good in the Y, you have the rest card in the upright. Okay, so you are extremely tuned in. You're tuned in energetically or psychically. Um, you're very, very your, your psychic abilities they might be really going through the roof right now. Like you might be feeling like you are absolutely tapped in to something higher than yourself. This could be after a lot of hard work. This is called effect. This is the consequences of a lot of hard work. So you have worked towards something very, very hard. Someone could have been supporting you. This could have also just been you just humbly working away at something and now you feel like you're in that stream you're in um you're in the zone all right how you're going to feel the six of swords in the upright so that is a transfer it's a transfer of energy it's a transfer of money it's a transfer of um, your body like you could be moving it's um, like picture a river. It always makes me think of running water. It feels like, okay, you're in some kind of current. You're in some kind of zone with something higher than yourself. Something is humbling you, but it's also making you feel full at the same time. And like yourself. This is getting in that zone, in that current. So you are tapped in. This is really cool. In your advice, you have the queen of wands in the upright. Okay, so that is someone who is incredibly active, incredibly efficient. There could be a, a fire sign in your life but I'm feeling like this is your energy. Keep working. This is often a manager. You could be a teacher. You could be a spiritual teacher. You could be passing some kind of energetic information to other people. And you're having some kind of effect. What you're doing is, is, it's working. 
you're having an effect. You're, I don't even know how to describe this because this looks like it's all energetic work. So this could just be a clarification for someone that is wondering if what they're doing is working. This is saying that it is working, that you're right in the zone, you're tapped in, something is helping you um, and humbling you, you're perfecting something, you're perfecting your craft in some way, something that you work at very hard, that you take very serious. And this is managing something, delegating something, showing people something, leading the way. So that could be your advice to keep leading the way. She's bumping up to the three of coins in the reverse, which is in the infant position, which is not knowing how to get your, your needs met. So I feel like you're teaching people how to do the same thing. Could be teaching people how to manifest. Bottom of the deck. The nine of cups in the reverse. Okay, so this might be a little bit of a warning card because the nine of cups in the reverse is about insincerity. It's about um, intimacy with the wrong people. It's about fakery. It's about um, sweet talk. It, it's it's sugar coated, and it's right under rest in the reverse, which is a a warning in itself right there, which is about um, be careful about um, unseen enemies. So there might be people that are being very sweet to your face, but they might not be um, sorry, I heard a noise outside. Honey's covered in um, snow. I better put her back in soon. Um, it's well, you can see the snow, I think maybe not. It's not snowing very heavy. So yeah, there's some people that are telling you what they want, what you want, oh, what they think you want them to. They're saying what you want to hear, but they might be draining you of energy or trying to. So just protect yourself. Protect yourself. But I have a feeling you're protected anyway by, by some, something very powerful and good. One of your guides, one of your ancestors. Another layer. Eight of Wands in the reverse, Ten of Cups in the reverse, Two of Coins in the reverse, Six of Wands in the upright, your advice, Birds and Fish in the reverse, bottom of the deck, the light in the upright. All right, so seven of wands in the reverse. So there's some kind of indecision here. This is also about small talk, which I'm, I'm picking up a con I'm at laugh, a connection between these two cards. I feel like someone is trying to make you doubt the reality of something. Someone is making, is trying to make you, I don't think it's working, um, is trying to make you doubt that something you're doing, I think energetically, is even having an effect that it's even doing anything it is 
you're you're completely in the zone you have mastered something but somebody in your circle is trying to make you doubt yourself so just be aware of that in the how oh ten of cups in the reverse okay so this this does feel like a group of people This is in the anger position. <clears throat> Some there could be people. I'm I'm feeling like it's more than one person, or they're trying to influence more than one person. Like one person is trying to influence other people. Um, I feel like they're envious of this connection that you have. That why does this person have this ability? That's what this is feeling like to me. So someone someone's butt hurt or someone's jealous that they don't have some kind of energetic gift, psychic gift. They're a little they're a little put out that they don't have it and you have it. And the two of coins in the reverse. Is this some kind of bad news? This is a regretful decision. You know, I feel like it, it's because you included someone in your circle that might be just lowering the vibe a little bit. It feels like you let someone into, like this could even be like a class, like a manifesting class or um, like a, a spiritual group. It just takes one rotten person, right? But there's, yeah, if it feels like someone is, it's just kind of lowering the vibe. Because you've got it going on here, and then there's someone that's just kind of like sticking a, a stick in the spoke. And how you're going to feel, you have the six of wands in the upright. So this isn't ultimately going to bother you. Um... Actually, it looks like it doesn't bother you at all. It looks like you're just letting it go as it happens. You're letting it go. Um, because you also, you have this ultimate belief in yourself that this is victory as well. This is also some kind of dispute. But it's like you're not even thinking about it. Like you got some kind of bad news. You realized what was going on. And you instantly recalibrated and got back in your zone. So this person isn't really affecting you. They're trying to, but they're not affecting you. You just keep recalibrate, recalibrating and getting back to this master. This master. Teacher, master organizer. Back to leading the way. And then that's bumping into the Ten of Cups in the upright, which is finding your emotional fulfillment at a distance. Now that can mean energetic distance or that can mean physical distance. On top of that, you have the birds and fish in the reverse. This is also about calibration, about reconciliation, about bringing things together, of protecting something. Could be protecting the world. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. So, like I said, there's some kind of fakery going on. There's some kind of embarrassment here. But you're pointing right at it. You see it for what it is, and I think you're actually, um, you have this person's highest good in mind. Like you're, you're seeing what this person is doing as just an undeveloped ego. Like they're doing it because they're still a little bit living in fear. Um, they might be embarrassed, so they have a block, which makes them, you know, People react in all sorts of different ways when they can't do something, right? So it opens up old wounds or something. You're completely understanding. And you're, 
you're also a little bit protective and motherly. Like when someone comes at you, you, you have understanding and forgiveness and, <clears throat> excuse me, try to help them learn to get out of that, um, that fear-based feeling. And then on top of that, you have the light in the upright, which is seeing the light. So you're helping this person see the light. Okay, so you're in the zone. You are in some kind of psychic zone. You are doing what you're meant to be doing. There's someone in your circle, maybe in a class or something like that, someone in your circle who is not feeling connected and they might be taking it out on you by trying to just disrupt things a little bit. Disrupt your faith in yourself. Disrupt other people's faith in you. Um, maybe nitpicking. Like whenever you say something, they say, you know, well, actually, blah, 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 blah. And it causes you to have to keep calibrating, recalibrating, getting back into your, your, your bubble, your, not bubble, um, into your, your connection with something higher. So you're actually bringing this person along and being very protective of them and they are going to see the light and there is going to be an effect. That was a really nice story. All right, your shuffle song is called Just Grazing and it's by Digitalism. All right, I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.